All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And this has, uh, this this is going to feel good to do as I haven't had the ability to do any any card show recap videos in a while with uh, with COVID and everything going on. So it feels good to be back in card shows, picking up some cool stuff again. So I was able to get a lot at this, uh, at this show in Columbus. It's two days, Saturday and Sunday. Spent a good amount of money this weekend, which was, uh, which was good. Um, means I typically had, uh, some pretty good luck. So I'm going to go through a lot of different things here. So I apologize. It's not going to be all, you know, million dollar cards. There's going to be some low end, you know, I'll show you some of the grind work that, you know, uh, that I've put in this weekend and then show you some cool, bigger stuff that I've also picked up as well. So, uh, I always keep stuff separated and then I'll, uh, I'll inventory it all like I'll put how much I paid for each lot and then I'll basically use that for this video so you guys can get an idea of like what I paid. I try to be pretty transparent on these. Um, you know, not going to make a million dollars on, you know, high end, high end stuff. But if you put in some work on some of the cheaper stuff, uh, you can definitely make some money. So it's kind of what we're going to do here. Just go through some diff different things. So this whole deal was through one collector and it was a uh, or one dealer and it was one hundred and fifty dollars. Now, it'll definitely add up to more than 150 but the seller always works with me. Um, he's pretty good about that. So, ended up uh, ended up saving a decent amount of money off of the uh, the sticker price. So, I will start with dollar cards. All of these were in a dollar box. Then, I'll go to twos, threes, uh, fives, and then a price is marked. So, these were all in a dollar box. Uh, so, these are the green fanatics. These are short printed to like 100 or less, apparently. Um, not amazing names, but still felt for a buck. They were... Uh, they were worth buying so I might see if those will grade but picked up uh tarian prince and uh, tim hardaway jr uh, picked up two duncan finalist green i know the lebrons and kobe's the bigger ones do well but for a buck it just again sometimes that's one thing especially if you're starting out in this you you, you take a little bit of chances on smaller stuff because i'm not going to sit there and look up every single one of these cards at a dealer's table just not really the the look i'm going for so i might look up something higher end if i if i have questions uh, but for the most part, a lot of what I do is just, you know, seeing cards every single day. You kind of get a feel for what things sell for. So I thought these might be ones to, to take a chance on at a buck a piece. Uh, Hero Rookies, I just, we get a lot of requests for him in, in store. So these are probably uh, $3 cards. Kobe Vase, fourteen fifteen. dollars uh, Some more Hero Rookies from Absolute Retail. Again, figured those are decent. Okiki, I actually like him. I think he'll be decent, but green for a buck. Uh, some more Hero, and then uh, four RJ. So felt really good about those for a buck a piece. I figure almost everything in there will sell for at least two to four times that uh that dollar price. All right, and then you've got two dollars. This is where I feel like I did really really well uh, was the two dollar stuff. So everything in this pile was in a two dollar box. All right, so you've got a PMG Keith Byers. The cool thing about Keith Byers is he was a Buckeye. Um, or I'm not sorry, not PMG, but Star Rubies. I think that's considered the same thing. I don't know. It's not original 96, 97 PMG, but Star Rubies, Keith Byers out of 50. Old school 90s insert, low numbered. Uh, I'll take that. Same thing with these. I thought these were good deals. Emmett Smith out of 99 from 2000 Vanguard. A lot of this older stuff of like Hall of Famers like this, this, this stuff does really well. Again, these might not be $50 cards, but it wouldn't surprise me if these do $14.99 to $19.99 a piece. I mean, 20 bucks and you're getting them for two. I mean, turn four into 40 real quick. So again, not amazing numbers, but still, I, I like my uh, like my chances there. Dirk jersey, authentic threads, uh, game worn. I mean, I'll take a Hall of Fame jersey for two bucks any day of the week and, you know, twice on Sunday. Uh, Chris Anderson, production line. Birdman actually sells decent. He's He's got a little bit of a following. It's out of 49, uh, game worn, four color patch. Figured for two bucks for a guy that doesn't have a lot of cards, I'll take a chance there. Uh, two towns rookie jerseys from Excalibur, jumbo jerseys. I'll, again, these are these are no brainers. These will sell in a retail setting for you know six to eight bucks. That's probably what they're worth. So I'll take those all day. Uh, checkerboard Troy Brown, not amazing. Um, he's not like an amazing ball player, but for two bucks, I mean the checkerboards are from retail. It does have a print line in it, but still for two bucks, had to get it. Uh, this is a gift for a friend, Fletcher Mc uh, Fletcher McGee. Um, that, again, that's just a gift for a friend. That's why I bought that. Uh, Goose Gossage out of 25. Uh, again, I don't buy a ton of baseball, but old school Yankees sells. I mean, typically Yankee stuff sells well, so low numbered out of 25. I figured why not. A couple of exquisite base. You got Randy Moss and Jerome Bettis. I just everything seems to be hot in the card market now, and you know I figured old school upper deck exquisite base probably weren't a bad buy. It's 
Again, I always look at the $2 stuff like it's 2 bucks, right? It's going to cost me $2 just to get to the show. I'm willing to spend $2 on, <clears throat> on a couple chances and, you know, just hope one of them works out. I honestly didn't even open this, but for $2, it's like a booklet. I'm like, I didn't care what it looked like. I was willing to buy it for 2 bucks. Yeah. I mean, Stephen Hill booklet patch auto at a 15. I mean, this, this has got to be worth $10. It has to be. There's no way this card wouldn't sell for $9.99 on eBay. I mean, it's sick patch, helmet, sock or glove. I mean, like, this has got everything on it. I mean, out of 15, again, it's not the best player in the world, but for $2, I mean, I, I, there was just no way I was going to say no. This will likely end up in a hot pack, um, uh, upcoming hot pack series we're working on. Uh, this is, again, this is kind of a cool card for the shop. Chad Johnson, Palmer, Houston Zada, uh, out of 250 game used jersey, probably a six to eight bucks. Nick Chubb, same thing, just kind of a local one, one that uh, we get asked for a lot is Chubb, so I figure this will probably do six, eight bucks. Uh, Fitz, this is second year Fitz, I think, yeah. He's a rookie in 05, I believe, or 04, so this is like second or third year for him, uh, but exquisite base again, two bucks, sure, I'll take it all day. Uh, Josh Jacobs, Prism Rookie, I'm pretty sure these do eight to ten bucks, and it's set or decent, so I might look at this for grading and then see what happens. Uh, coaches don't have a ton of cards. I know Sperano's not really doing much uh, anymore, but uh, it's low numbered at 25. So I figured with coaches that don't have a lot, somebody might out there might be looking for this with a rainbow. So it might end up doing, you know, 10 bucks. This was a no brainer. I mean, no brainer. I think these do 12, 14, 16 bucks. I would assume somewhere north of 10. So for me, when I saw this for two bucks, I just, I had to buy it. Uh, optic, obviously optic, prism, select all the refractors and stuff has, has jumped recently. So uh, 19 Rodgers. Not sure this is an amazing deal, but I'll buy a future Hall of Famer for two bucks. Uh, then I got a couple of these. Not the best players in the world, but for two bucks, Paul Perkins, Booker, Three Color, and Hunter Henry. I mean, they're gold prism rookie patches out of 49. Um, I thought they were actually out of 10, so that's on me. I probably wouldn't have bought these knowing they're out of 49, but I didn't look, so that's a that's a rookie mistake. But I thought they were out of 10. They look like they're gold, but honestly, still for two bucks. Again, those can be uh, in, inserted into the hot packs. Uh, Joe Thomas, uh, rookie refractor, future Hall of Famer, probably one of the best Browns in the last 40 years, so that was cool. Uh, Drew Brees, black refractor from Topps Chrome out of 299 from 11 Topps Chrome. I mean, there's just no way that it doesn't sell for more than $2. I bet this is probably an $8 to $10 sale, so grab that. Uh, same thing here, Rogers refractor, 2011 Topps Chrome. Um, yeah, I just, those are just nearly impossible to pass up. Rogers finest. Uh, Blue Refractor to 150. It just, I don't think expect those need a lot of uh, explaining. This is a really good deal. I don't know if you know much about this. This is uh, Russell Wilson Topps Chrome Refractor second year. The second year stuff's obviously on fire. I think these do about 20, 25 bucks. So for two bucks, sure I'll I'll grab that. Uh, Jonathan Williams patch at 29 again. I thought or at 49. Thought it was at a 10. That's that's all me. Uh, old school 90s stuff. Terry Glenn. He was a Buckeye. Rest in peace. Uh, uh, at a 75 figured it's probably worth two bucks so kind of took a chance and then not original pmg but still 2013 tony dorsett or 2012 tony dorsett pmg at a 50 pmg is probably got to be a popular search on there so i figured that's got to be worth more than uh more than two bucks so those were all two dollars a piece now mind you i'm getting these at two dollars a piece and then there's money tacked on on the end so it's going to likely end up being less than two dollars a piece uh pick this up for three bucks uh, 15 out of 25, this is in the $3 bin. Uh, college auto, I mean, college stuff typically does well uh, later. Um, it's got a Go Hokies inscription. Like, I know if I saw a Go Buckeyes inscription, I'd pick it up. So I'm sure a college collector out there would pick this up for a couple bucks. So Kyle Fuller, rookie auto out of 25. Then all of these are in a $5 bin. Um, Christian Yelich, 13 of 25. Marquise Goodwin, rookie auto, 2 of 5. I mean, he's, he plays. It's got to be decent. Uh, Marvin Harrison, Fabric of the Game, certif Leaf Certified Game Use Patch, 12 of 25. Uh, Icky Woods, Jersey Auto, Bengals, he actually sells well. Uh, but the, the find of the show had to have been this. I actually didn't know how well these sold when I picked it up. Uh, but I believe this is first year Brady Prism, 2012 Prism. Uh, these sell exceptionally well. Um, I didn't look at it, so hopefully it's not, you know, completely destroyed. Um It actually looks like it might grade. I mean, it's pretty clean. 
If he has a ten of this, is a couple hundred dollars. So this is this is five bucks. I think the last sale was almost seventy. So that's probably one of the better percentage percentage wise, one of the better come ups. So again, those are all uh, these are all five, and this was three bucks. Um, and then last but not least from that deal, uh, he had uh, this at thirty, these uh, this at thirty, and this at twenty five. Um, I ended up, he made me an offer, like he came down on the ones, threes, and fives to about, I think it was 85 or 100. And I think it said 115 on this. So 15 bucks to add that, and it was 15 bucks to add that, and then 25 bucks to add this. So again, I don't know much about Adele, but I just, I think, I mean, I know enough about him. I, I think he's going to be good. I know it's not first Bowman, obviously, but Mega Box, one to 25. These actually do 40 to 50 bucks. It might might be good clean, and then LeBron gave me his jersey. I'll take that and, and stash that. So, first deal, ten bucks or uh, one hundred fifty bucks. Uh, I did pick these up. These are kind of cool. Uh, Drew Brees parallel out of twenty five. These are both in a five dollar bin. Nathan Work blue auto. I saw a lot of him. I get asked for him weekly. It's a blue ticket auto from Contenders. So I think I pay ten bucks for both of those. Drew Brees at twenty five. I'll likely pay for both of them. Um, Pick this up. Thought this was a pretty good deal. Didn't take this off. There we go. Uh, I think I paid two seventy on this lot. Uh, McCaffrey glove patch two of fifteen. There hasn't been any of these sell, and I think this might be a this might be a, a pretty good card. I think this could do well. Rookie glove. Uh, Trey rookies. Those are super cheap. I think these do closer to six or seven bucks a piece. Uh, Mahomes spellbound. These actually sell pretty well, especially if you get the complete set. So picked up two of these. One's out of 75 and one's out of 299. Um, this I thought was 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 decent. Off-centered, but still McCaffrey sells really well. It's a rookie auto out of 49. And then Josh Jacobs patch auto out of 150. So again, it was like 270 on all of this. I honestly think these two cards alone will pay for every single card in here. And then you're looking at 50 bucks on both of those. 15 bucks on those at 65 and then 35 or 40 on that so north of 100 so not terrible feel uh feel pretty good with those buys uh picked these up from my guy jude shout out to him um zion psa 10 arriving now gem mint uh, that is pretty close to that siakam ice i didn't look this up but i like siakam so figured i'd, I'd grab this anyways and then LeBron, we saw a lot of LeBron stuff, and it's St. Vincent, St. Mary's, which I thought was unique. Um, gave me his jersey. So uh, I want to say, oh, man. I think it was like 100 on those. And then I think it was 110 total. And I, yeah, I think it was 110 total. I think that sounds right to me. But again, I actually, this is one I don't remember on. The Lux was a toss in. I think he gave me a number of like 110. And I was like, we'll throw this in. Um, and he's like, sure. So I got that. I think it was 110 on those. Uh, same seller in, on Sunday. So I came back the next day. I got all these. I got these for 30. I thought these were really good deals. Uh, they're immaculate rookie gloves. Ronald Jones at a 32. One office jersey number, but Darnold at a 32. And a Michael Gallup, uh, which is 18 of 80. They're nice looking patches. I mean, heck, these are 360 magnetics. These are like $3 a piece. So for 30 bucks for all three, these will be great cards for a hot pack series because they're super cool and I thought they were a good deal. So got those, ended up uh, grabbing those later. Uh, I picked up this lot for a hundred. Uh, Ken Griffey Senior Auto out of 15. Really cool. Benny Snell and Deontay Johnson, rookie patch out of 99. A nice Tyler Boyd and Joe Mixon, dual patch for the Bengals. We saw a lot of those guys, so grab those. Uh, this is cool. I'm actually going to keep this. Sean Wade, rookie patch auto from Leaf out of 15. Came back for Ohio State. Will likely be the number one corner drafted next year. Probably a top 10 pick, top 6 pick, somewhere in there. Uh, ben Victor auto. That'll go in store. Devon Hamilton auto in store. And then this super sick uh, game used patch auto, 5 of 5 of, uh, I'm sorry, player worn patch auto of, of uh, Singletary, 5 of 5. So, felt pretty good about that. I think this is pretty close to 60. I think you're like 80, uh, 90, 100, 130, 140, 150, somewhere like that. So, um, that's likely what I guessed it. Or I, I guessed, not guessed it. 
Um, this is probably one of my overall favorite deals. I thought this was like a really, 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 really good deal. Um, so going through some boxes, uh, the gentleman who was the dealer just said that these were prices marked uh, or were just random prices. Um, so like you'll notice like this had a price in the back, this had a price in the front, this didn't have a price at all, this didn't have a price. Um, so I said like, what do you want on these three, right? LeBron Jam Masters car and Michelle. He said uh, 20 on these and 70 on this. I really like BGS 10s. This is a Roethlisberger. I was like, I'll keep this. Um, but I sold a to or I, I bought a Topps Chrome Refractor off Derek Carr last weekend for five bucks and looked it up and knew it sold for, and it sold for 40. I knew car stuff was hot since Vegas. Dave started talking about him. So I figured this has to be worth $6. It just has to be. There's no way it's not worth $6. So I bought that. Then if you guys follow me at all and you followed my page for a minute, you know, I love Jersey number. That's Michelle's Jersey number 26 of 99. So that's gotta be at least $20. And then LeBron Jam Masters, I think sell for about 25, 30 bucks. So I would assume this is 25, this is 25, and this is 25. That's $75 for 20 bucks. And he he had 70 on this. So he's like, I said, if I buy these at 20, we do 60 on this. And he said, yeah. So it's 80 bucks for those four. I thought that was a really, really good deal. I feel really confident in those four. Um, then I picked this up. Again, follow me on IG. I talked about uh, one of these cards for a minute. Uh, Isaiah Simmons. This, this lot was 340. Isaiah Simmons, uh, Nate Stanley at 35. Uh, real big on the early 2020 stuff. I think it's going to do really well. Trayvon Diggs. This will go in store. Sean McKeon. CeeDee Lamb at a 50. Sells very well. Um, that's, that'll likely go up for bids. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Drew Locke, 3 of 10. Jersey number. Orange parallel. Not a rookie, but still should sell. Uh, Chris Jones Auto, 11 of 50. Again, 15, 20 bucks. And then this guy. Finally, I was able to snag one. I'm not sure I'll keep this. I'm not sure I'll grade this. I, I honestly haven't looked it over. As soon as I got back from the show yesterday, I went right into the shop and was just busy all day. So I'm, I don't know. Um, I would say at the moment, it's not available. I want to see what I want to do with it first. But Joe Burrow, Ohio State Auto. I will likely have one in my collection at some point. So whether it's this one or another one, I don't know. But was actually excited to pick this up. So I felt good about that lot. I figure uh, this is like 350 I, I think. I think the last one at the time was like 347 I figure 12 20, 30, 35, 55, 75, 90, and 350 is 440. So 100 bucks more. Again, some of these might be low, some of these might be high, but I felt, felt good on that. So got it. And then came back Sunday and bought this big old deal. Some of them have price stickers, some of them won't. This deal was north of two grand. I'll just tell you that. It was uh, by far the most expensive deal I had bought. So everything in the, this one, I think it was like 20, 24 and change. Um, but so the first thing I always do in these deals is I just go, anytime I see some of the cool stuff in the showcases is I'll look at, uh, I'll look in the value boxes, see if you've got anything I like. And in the value boxes, I found, yikes, hold on. All right, so those are showcase cards. These are all value boxes. So, uh, Ozzy Smith, a 75. Not sure how well this does. I just, the, the Hall of Fame inscription was cool and it's Ozzy, so might not be an amazing number on this. I don't know a ton about baseball, but the gold ink, Hall of Fame inscription, I figured I'd take a shot on it. Uh, A-Rod Auto from Diamond Icons. I know this is a popular set. Good picture, A-Rod. Red ink auto, 25. Take a chance on that. Nick Bosa, sell a bunch of Nick Bosa stuff. He's very, very, very popular in store. Some cool about this is the auto stays all on sticker though. Turn of the century, uh, 67 of 99. So that was a cool, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a is a solid deal. It's centered well, but I think these do close to 50 bucks. I didn't look it up and I'm not super concerned with it. I, I know it's worth $30 and I know I could get 30 bucks for it. Um, so not super concerned, but I think that might be a good deal. Uh, Eddie Auto, exquisite, nice, Eddie George has an amazing signature, nice and bold, um, or nice and big, this one's not very bold, but exquisite, on-card auto, Buckeye uniform, Heisman trophy, this is, this is easy for me to sell, uh, I actually picked this up for my PC, because I don't think I have one of these, obviously love cracked dice autos for Buckeyes, and since I don't think I have one, I figured I'd grab this and stash this from last year's contenders, so, Mike Weber, that will be kept, 
by Prescott. This had an $80 price tag on it, and I felt that was good. I have a feeling this is probably closer to $120. So likely it'll end up in a hot pack, I would imagine. Maybe graded, but never know. Uh, this was a good deal. Certainly not going to get into Kaepernick and anything political. That's not, you know, that's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, but I know Kaepernick stuff is is popular. It is selling very, very well on eBay. Right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm not going to go down that road. But it is, uh, he is selling really, really well right now. And $50, I think the last sale at the time was 107 So actually surprised by that. Um, I, uh, I didn't know this at the time. I just knew that there was a bunch of people on Instagram asking for him. So... I was like, oh, this can't be, this can't be too bad. Uh, and sure enough, it wasn't. Uh, McCaffrey, we saw a lot of him. He's he's one of the guys, probably non-local guys we get asked for the most is probably McCaffrey. You know, Zeke is a Buckeye. We get asked for him, for Baker. But this is, McCaffrey's probably the number one guy outside of them that we get asked for a lot. Uh, Bosa, rookie out of 25. Even if I don't sell this in the store, I think this is a good buy. It. Rookie elite out of 25, 10 bucks, sure. Uh, I did look this up. I knew this was a solid deal. Derrick Henry rookie auto out of 50. The last sale on this was, was, uh, uh, $80 and two is his college Jersey number. I believe not that that makes a huge difference. It just, again, things I notice and I, I point out, but Derrick Henry Jersey auto rookie at a four, uh, at a 50. And then Charles Haley, uh, imposing signatures, majestic on card auto. That's numbered at a 25. So, I think he was at 380 on this deck, and I got it to like 360, is I think the math on that. Uh, and then this was priced at 350. This was priced at 110. This was at 250. This was at 400. This was at 600. This was at 200. This was at like 150, and this was at three and a quarter. Now, obviously, you got those all all down, but that just gives you an idea of what things were listed for. So pick this up, uh, Aaron, PSA 10 auto at a 20. Nice on-card auto. I mean, Hank Aaron stuff definitely sells really well. Nice blue signature, PSA 10. Everybody seems to want graded cards anymore, so couldn't go wrong there. Griffey, we sell a ton of Ken Griffey Jr. stuff in store. Um, 9, 10, probably a generous 10 auto. Don't look like any 10 auto to me, but I didn't, uh, I didn't grade it, so I'm not going to argue with it. On card, upper deck, big, like I said, big signature. Nice Reds jersey at a 200. That was cool. We saw a bunch of his stuff. Kaepernick contenders. I might actually grade this. I know it's not the variation, but this is pretty clean. If you look at it, it doesn't have a lot of damage to it. So I'm assuming graded would do better. I thought, again, this, this, and uh, these. I thought these were some of the the, the ones I was, more ha I was happiest with. I know this is pretty strong on this because I think there's one up for 400. Uh, but I think I got this for 350, this for 550, and this for three three and a quarter. This isn't an amazing shape. It's off, or it's not in bad. It's in good shape. It's just off centered. You can see left to right the space here versus the space here. OC, but I still think these do near 500 bucks. Giannis rookie auto, full rookie auto from his rookie year. Um, I'll definitely. I mean, I got a lot of Giannis stuff as is, so this will definitely get added to the uh, the Giannis dash. Lamar rated rookie auto, the next day signatures. These are from the National. Again, real big on this set. Might actually not be a bad grade. I'd have to check the surface on these. These can sometimes get beat up. But centering doesn't look too bad. Edges and corners don't look awful either. So possibly a 9-10 there or a 9-5-10. A nine, uh, nine, uh, Brady. Brady stuff seems to go up every day. So figured I'd grab something else, throw it back. Uh, Fleer, glossy rookie, PSA 9. So I think the last... I think he had 110 on this, but I think these do closer to 150. So can't go wrong with Brady, regardless. And then this, this is the one he came down on the most because I didn't really want to. I didn't really want to buy it for 250. I thought that was high. Um, it's got a small little dimple on it, um, but overall, still a, a pretty cool card. NFL Shield, good looking card. So. So yeah, I mean, I, I did buy some wax there, um, some boxes, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that was uh, that was it. Like I said, it ended up being a lot lot better than I expected or I anticipated. A lot of people there, I can tell you, if you have any doubts about the card, the card market, don't. That place was alive and well. I mean, I like I said, I run a store, so I see it every day. But man, oh man, there was a lot of people at that show. It was it was busy from start to finish. So um, yeah, guys, that's all I got for now. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Should have said this earlier, but I do have a part two to this video coming soon. 
It's going to be card shop pickups this week. I picked up, you think this was cool? Picked up some cooler stuff this week. So I will uh, make sure you subscribe so you can see that. Give me a thumbs up on this if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment. Let me know your favorite pickup from this show. And I will see you guys for part two here very soon. Peace, guys.